Hey guys, um, <clears throat> I've been a little bit busy lately, so I haven't really been making too many videos, but um, I guess in, in this video I'd just like to update you on my thesis work. Um, I'm currently studying Teilhard de Chardin and his whole theory of, I don't know, cosmogenesis. So I, I called actually my, my thesis, because you have to name the class, the private study, um, Tehard and Cosmogenesis. So I've been doing a lot of uh, reading with related subjects and, and, and authors, including uh, this guy right here, Kostler, Janus. The, uh, basically, he presents the idea of a holon. And if um, you're not familiar with that, it, it basically argues that everything is a whole and a part. The idea of, of a whole is to uh, too, too much of a sui generis, I believe it's called, a thing in itself, and the idea of a part, well, it's too fragmented. So really everything is, is, is to some degree a whole and a part. Everything is interrelated and dynamically connected, and they're always a part of a greater process, and each greater process is made up of so many different uh, other processes that are happening just underneath the surface. So there's this great living, dynamic, vibrant, holonic systems. Um, and to some degree, I, I know we've been talking about this in other, other areas, this has everything to do with um, the whole concept of a network society, which uh, we have been mentioning lately in a couple of videos. Um, basically, my idea, and I guess a general idea, an immersion idea, in this century is that if we begin to look at the universe and ourselves in a different way we might be able to get innovation and cre creative solutions to uh, civilization's problems or in other words we might be able to creatively um, manifest a living vibrant uh, holonic society and we can do this um, naturally as an emergent thing in this century um, so that maybe eventually a, a future society will be a holonic one one that is made up of interwoven networks that create greater holes which are again you know higher and higher orders um, so instead of imposing a philosophy or ideology on the world um, if if the holonic theory is it in, is in some way intuitive um, perhaps there are ways to bring out that holonic reality in civilization and if we can do that if we can start to grow civilization rather than impose it on the world well there's you know so many potentials and possibilities with that and in that light so um, <clears throat> I guess that's for another video but for now I just wanted to update you on that I'm also going to be looking at uh, Gene Gepser and his book Ever Present Origin, but I don't have that just yet. I'm still waiting from the library on that one. Um, that's going to be really interesting as well. Uh, so I'm going to end here, make this a very quick video, just a quick update. In the next few days, I'll probably make a couple of videos uh, on this subject, on the whole on, on Kostler, and on um, Tehard. So yeah, stay tuned and thanks for listening.